I have to keep closing that screen every time because it happens to be another hotkey for this. Can't have the regular number buttons as hotkeys because of Diablo 2. Can't have these numbers or the F1 keys as hotkeys because it opens up shortcuts. But uh, welcome back, everybody. Smart Echelon Book One. Last time we cleared out the Eversleep Cemetery, we died like two or three times. It's a new record for me. I died once, I think, in the whole last, I mean, the first run through I was trying to do in this before I lost the save file. Been thinking, I never like looked back. I could go back and check to see what our stats looked at that time, but with our strength. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, we got the dungeon fever. That's what it was. Um, we don't have the money to cure dungeon fever, but we have a cure. Been thinking of what we could do. But we got dungeon fever. All right, we might be able to head to the next town. Maybe on the way there we could get, um, whatever dungeon fever. Maybe I'll get lucky and it's in a chest and box. More than likely it won't be. I wonder why I'm being so pessimistic about it is because it's true. How do we go over there? This way? Doesn't seem right. Is this where we? Oh, that's where we blew ourselves up last time. That was fun. Or I think that's where we blew ourselves up last time. Oh no, there's a sign over here. Okay, I know what we're doing. I wish we could walk a little faster. Maybe I should see if there's a mod for this. path here. Hopefully it's a good path. Yeah, gold pieces. I guess it's good as it could be. I'll fight the salamander. Added to the pile of shit that we need to sell. I don't know which way I want to go. Yes, yeah, so we go up here and see what's up here. This feels familiar. Nope. I'm not. Feeling as strong as I used to be. You guys, you came a path to me. Come on. Oh, you could hit me. What? Oh, you are just a bastard. I know you're dead. Makes me feel a little better. Oh, shit. I've come to sell the magazines. Would any of you be interested in any? This isn't good. I feel like both of them could hit me here. 
Well, indeed they can. I don't have my shield. You're running away, you puss. Shield. Whoa. I'm being flanked. Luckily, I could handle it. Kinda. I feel like when we walk into the village, the townspeople just end up shaking their head. Fine. Take my shield off so I could heal myself. I see this person in uh, male, the male coif, leather body, leather pants, chainmail boots. Just like why? All right, if we see that spot where um, we blew ourselves up, we won't use that again. Probably the logical thing to do. Ring of Sparks, mana. I'll hold on to it for now. I'm not 100% sure if I want mana. You coming? You coming for me? I didn't. Indeed is. Alright. Ah, look at that. Bunch of useless shit. I'm just gonna make this my big pile of shit to sell. How about that? Alright, dead body over here. This looks like where we died that one time. Hey, these are worth some money. I'm not going back to Aradel now, huh? This is where we died. You're able to only hold four pounds while casting. disease. It makes me almost want to go back, but I can't do that to you guys. Where are we? Oh, jeez. Another chest. I almost want to try that chest again, but I feel like I fell for that. Damn it. I can't even pick this lock either. I beat it to death. Let's see how much damage we do this thing. It's not horrible. It's not great. You will yield to me. Oh, apparently not. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I don't feel like coming back over here to see what's inside. This could have that legendary super hammer we've been needing. Worth every swing. Apparently, it wasn't. Okay. Good to know. I guess. Save. On potato. I think this is where we're supposed to be. Should I skirt? Down south. What is over here? It's like a structure. Yeah, whatever. I need cash. 
think it would be f fine to take a detour and see if we could find... Hey, look at that. There's a guy. Talk to him. Hello, friend. I call you friend because you're not beating the living shit out of me already. See, oh, you're not even a dude. See a woman standing at campsite. She appears distressed. A wagon with a broken wheel sits in the weeds nearby. She reacts cautiously as you approach her. Hail to you, traveler. My name is Mary. If you are a bandit come to rob me, I must tell you, your friends paid a visit not more than two days ago. They've taken everything I had. There is no more. I'm not here to rob you. Ah, the woman seems surprised by your offer. Well, I guess if you're offering, perhaps you could locate my husband, Bra uh, Brayden. Traveling north to Darkford when our wagon broke. We set up camp here and tended to our belongings while he went ahead to get parts. That was nearly a week ago. Darkford should have only been a three-day walk there and back. I fear the worst has happened. Yeah, I could try and look for him. Oh, thank you so much. As I said, my husband's name is Brayden. Please tell him to hurry back here, even if he has not found the wagon parts yet. At this point, we have no more belongings to haul. I'm starting to use the wagon for firewood. Mary pauses as trying to find the words to continue. If you find I mean something has happened to him, you may be able to identify him by his wedding band. We were married just last spring, and it has not left his finger since that day. Just a simple gold ring inscribed with my name. Well, if bandits took him... Just saying. I'd have to leave a wedding ring. Just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. What the hell? Is that him? Right here? Wow. Really? That's a free health heal. That's a free health heal, technically, too. Not. Hmm. I'm gonna try that out. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. You didn't get very far. Ass. Jewel of Thermor. We'll read that later. I did say we'll read one each time. Don't miss cook, but I don't give a shit. Garbage. Jewel of Thermor. That's not a very long one. Blessed Jewel of Thermor, to be forever known as the Crux of Ages, was most certainly a gift from the gods. It was found in 425 by Lord Sam of Therabor, while splitting a massive giant granite boulder and whispering cave. Even in its rough form, the stone was a marvelous object, but after polishing, the gem was like no other before it. Legend has it. That original gem cutter to work on the stone wept when he gazed at the beauty of the first facet cut. He claimed he saw divinity within the stone. Such a shock was this to pour the poor man's heart he died that very night. The crux is as old as Echelon itself, formed under the same circumstances that forged the known world. All of Echelon's history is trapped inside. It is believed that those who are in its presence are protected. For that reason, the gem is forever housed in the top of Bastion Spire. Yet the Chancellor and his council protects them from great evil, and gives them the wisdom to rule Thermor with justly. Alright, a little bit of lore there. Now it's garbage. It's getting dark out. I will walk blind. I hear things bumping in the night. We will go ahead and throw a torch on now. We can see and deal with things accordingly. Good. You're not a poison salamander, because that'd be a dick move. A lot of pass over here. Now, oh, we should have returned the ring. Mother, you are now at rest. Time has raced this one, though. Pulped his face. At 
little disconcerting seeing salamanders the size of uh, dogs, but you know, large dogs. What is she gonna do for us? Expect a blowjob, lady. Uh, unfortunately for you, I am, in fact, here to rob you. I'm sure you can find something worth taking. Oh, okay, so that wasn't the dude. I was just confused because we pulled the band off him. But you know, there's a mana band. I don't know why that guy would have a mana band on. As a wedding band, I should say. Okay, I want to go this way. I don't recall as much from this way as I do. I think there's bears somewhere. That's a little upsetting. I go this way. I want to reveal the known world to us. Hey, it pot in the middle. You just stuffing these? Oh shit. I don't know how many of those I passed up. That's not good. Hmm. Bones in a campfire. Unfortunately, there's nothing for us here. Okay. I really feel like we should go that. Aerodel. Hey, that's familiar. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I think we should just check up here first, because... Um, the time it'll take us to get over there, and then come back over here to finish exploring this way, would be too long and it wouldn't be worth it. Hello. No, pussy, don't run. Ever turn your back on a foe. Aha, secret barrel. Nothing. Whopping three gold pieces. That's nice. I'm afraid of bears. Afraid of bears. Alright, I don't think this one would have explosives in it. I better save. No, not fucking zombies. There we go. What was that? that opens all doors. Alright, look back again. Yeah. Lock picking might be one of the next skills I end up going for. And then uh, put things into hit chance. I would really like to start getting some of these other ones 
higher up, but it'd be nice to be able to lockpick some of these. Hi. Hmm. That's quite a bit of you in there. Doesn't scare me none. Am I gonna have to lockpick this too? Thank you for not doing that to me. Potion of haste. Really? Okay. Just checking to see if there's any secret stuff over here. Eh. Did we check over here? I don't really feel like we really need to. We give like No, we didn't give the ring back there because it wasn't um Yeah, we don't need We don't need our torches on. Matter of fact, let's throw our shield on. I don't know where we are. There's a sign, though. That's a good sign. Save time. Quick route to Aridel. It's a trap. We're almost at about to Lilith, and then, um, kind of like we're getting close. That's a lot of banditos. <laughs> Leave me alone. Man, I'm hoping I'm going the right way. This is going to be upsetting if I'm going the wrong way. Ah, yes. Follow me right into my trap. No. Don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. There's people trained for this. Guards, there's people chasing me. All right. Appreciate the help, gentlemen. Damn it, I don't think I'm getting the kills for these dudes. Yes. We're in the place, the border town. All right, let's see what this guy got. Has see a blacksmith wielding a large hammer. He looks up towards you as you approach. Hail, traveler! Come here. My name is Eric, and this is my metal shop here in Border Town. Please let me show you some of my stock. Cool. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Nice. The sandals of cartography. That's something. Something to look at. Oh. Spiked mace. Oh, it's so expensive. Uh, do we got anything that he wants? Yeah, we have nothing that he'd want. Keep a mental note of some of the stuff he has there. Hello. So you enter the small tavern and you realize how temporary it feels. Walls are simple brick held with mud and the floors are just fragments of stone pressed into the ground. A young woman greets you. Hello, traveler. 
I'm Krista, owner of this makeshift tavern here in Borgtown. A few items to eat or drink if you're hungry, and I offer many other items for sale that I've acquired from people passing through. What can I get for you? I'll well, look at your inventory. I think we can sell these to her, right? I don't think it matters. I'm not 100% sure if I wanted to sell that one to her, but we did anyway. I'm going to hold on to these potions. I mean, no. Don't do that. The Crimson Sky. I want to read that, but I don't want to read it. Potion of Predators, say. Oh, that lets you see through walls, I believe. Bandages? Do you use those? Mapping our world. Men and Giants. Here, have all this useless crap. take the bandage just in case it actually does something. I almost want to take this because I feel like this is a book that will increase our stuff. We'll try. We'll try it. Mm, I want to buy books. Kind of want to buy books. Okay. That's enough of you. Thanks for everything. There's a shirt in there. I feel like I want to throw this one out. I feel like I read it already. In your world, this book talks in depth about the skill of cartography. By reading it, you learn of various techniques for measuring distance and determining your world location. Direction sensing underground, avoiding common mapping mistakes, and even the complex art of map folding. At the end of the book, you feel as if you learned quite a bit about this subject. Fuck yeah. Two levels in cartography? Beautiful. I'll oh, just open all of these. I can read one. I think I already read one, right? Let's go sell these back to her really quick before I leave. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. We get color on our map and everything. I'm gonna sell you. Sell you. I don't know why I put you guys up there. Got some light reading for uh, future episodes. Alright, maybe if we be cool over here. Guide the demon oil. Uh, we could probably read that a little later, but I don't think it's super helpful. Well, it's quite valuable, though. Put shit this all up here instead. Let's go up to this guy. What are you about, my dude? See an older man who is inspecting the hull of a small boat on the shore. Puffs on a pipe and can be heard humming a tune to himself before you approach. Hail to thee, stranger. I am Philip. Dude, you need to change your name right now. It's too close. Hope you're not here looking for passage to Aradel, because I've temporarily shut down that service. It's far too dangerous to be making that run anymore. What do you do here? I'm a boatman. I use my small skiff here to run goods from people to various ports around Thermore. But I've been forced to end routes because it has become too dangerous. Traveling by the boat is much faster than walking, really. I'd make a good living just making short runs between here and Aradel. Even that has become too dangerous. All I can do now is wait for peace to return so that I can go back to work. 
Well, as you see, I use a very small boat. I take her far out to sea because she isn't built for that. I don't take her far out to sea because she isn't built for that kind of travel. She does very well at running the rip currents near the shoreline while he talks. Philip uses his hand to simulate the movement of his boat navigating the shoreline. I used to be able to run the ship and rip currents all the way to Aradel when the tides were coming in. I'm back here at the board town on the outgoing tides. But then the marshes east of here became infested with fungal slimes. It spit at me from the shoreline a few times. They damn near sunk the boat, but they're crows to sludge. However, if I ran my boat far enough from shore to avoid their attacks, I risk getting swept out to sea. So I just decided to stop doing the route altogether. <laughs> it sounds like you're suffering just like everyone else is. Good luck to you. Would it be worth anything to you if I were to destroy all the fungal slimes for the marshlands? Philip chuckles with delight as the thought of being able to play it do gem. Ah oh, yes, it would. I'd happily pay you a reward for your efforts if you were to eliminate those horrid slimes. Sounds like a deal. No, thank you. Hail, hey, stranger. My name is Gomfari. Gomfari. I'm a herbalist and alchemist here in Borotown. I spend most of my time walking the countryside gathering rare ingredients. I promise you that you'll find no better assortment of alchemy supplies north dark water. Care to see my stock? Or how about a lesson in alchemy? Tempting. Very tempting. I want one of these. Thank you. Ooh. Resist toxins. Alright. Rings of vigor? Yeah, I think I can do better than that. Elemental. I don't have elemental magic. Don't want to make that mistake again. Here, how about you have this this bromine? And this guy the deem Really? Okay. Hmm. I thought you'd be the kind of de show me your inventory again. Alright, nothing. No thank you, I'm good. Ah, I feel better. Skirt the coastline up here a little bit. We're in the episode. Oh, you want some? I feel a little stronger now, my dude. You just got fucked. Ha! Ha ha ha. I want this video to go a little longer. 33 minutes already, though. Etc. Is there a thing up? No. I get a little confused where, uh... Our thing, um... Our characters and stuff. I shouldn't really, but... Could you please? Thank you. More of you. Why don't you come come over here? Step step on over. Step on down. Man, I almost feel like I wanna go to the beaches now. Alright, now I don't. You changed my mind very quickly there, sir. Come on, okay, I need to put some in the strength. Strength, 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 strength. Remember to put some in strength. Hmm. That's more than one dude. Aha, but he didn't see me. Come on. broke the number one rule. Never split the party. Oh, good thing I healed. No. You 
fucking cheater. To really? What the fuck? God damn it. Holy shit. Alright, I need help again. Holy fuck. Actually, we didn't talk to that dude in the green shirt that tried to help us last time. Hopefully these guys don't kill him. Don't kill him. I'm not dead now. Now right, we just need to live long enough for the guards to help us. That might not happen. Oh, Jesus. Dude. Hey, Luke. Damn it. Rabbit's foot. Dodge plus three. That's what the rabbit's foot did. I think all we got was the hit chance. I want the hit chance, yeah. It's money in the bank. A little bit, anyway. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. And then uh, I think we might go do the fungal slimes. Yeah. Is this an inn? Over here? It doesn't really look like it. I don't think we get to sleep here. Nope, we can't. Can we camp here? Nope, we're in... Sense of unease, that's weird. Well, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. It lets me know that you want to see more Echelon Book 1 in the future. If you like what I do in general, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to leave any kind of feedback, comment, just want to say hey, I will say hey back. Sorry that these videos are kind of slow, but it's just how I play Echelon and, you know. Uh, it's not too bad right now, but once we start like running into stuff I haven't, seen yet, which is pretty much everything past Lilith. Um, probably still back down. But, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. So, until next time, take care. And buttons, 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 buttons.